Hey, what's up guys? It's Tim and welcome to today's updates including the Amul of the Dam for Barrow sets. Before we jump into that, we've got some cosmetics added into the Bounty Hunter Reward Shop. Let's check those out. This includes the Granite Clamp and the Hunter's Honor. Now this hat is purely for looks and doesn't offer any beneficial bonuses. The blue hat represents a target hunter and the red hat represents a rogue hunter. If you want to check out the red one, here we are, this dude has one. It's slightly pink, I guess it's not too red. You guys get the idea. Now for the granite clamps, this is cosmetic guys, I know. Unfortunately, the pull for this did not pass. It would have given it some extra attack bonuses, but um, that did fail. It, it was around 70% on the pulls, which is not over the 75% threshold, so we did miss out on that one. But hey, it still looks pretty cool, and we can just pretend it's stronger than the normal version, I suppose. They've also added in a Bounty Hunter Teleport, which you can unlock the spell for with 8 million rewards points from the shop. It is available on all spell books as long as you have the 85 magic requirement to use it. I sort of feel like a Pokemon learning a new attack style. You have learned the teleport a target spell. Now I can hunt down my targets and hopefully not teleport into Multi. In other news, your decanting skills are no longer limited. If you've got a 3 or 2 dose, you can now split it up and maybe share it with a friend in need. The Amulet of the Damned is now a potential reward from the Silver Shade chest found in Morton. Yes, that place where you rebuild the little cavern. You'll now see various effects added while having the amulet equipped with each given set. I'll explain this briefly. Basically, Darok will be aided with somewhat of a vengeance at a one-fourth chance. We'll definitely have to see how this plays out. I'm looking forward to it. Carol's now has a chance to land two separate damages, also one-fourth chance of that happening. Aram's is now permitted to auto-cast and has a one-fourth chance of hitting 30% higher. Guthin's pretty much you'll heal more. And Torag is just going to be tankier than ever. Basically, the lower health you are, the more defense you'll have. And Virak is pretty basic. It'll just give plus 7 prayer bonus. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do subscribe if you're new and give me a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Take care, guys. Much love for watching.